Hey what's up everyone so I'm back again with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you 10 best applications for Android. So all of these applications will either add a new feature or improve the existing feature so that you can get things done more efficiently. So let's get started now. The first app on the list is Adblock Browser. So as the name implies with this app you can browse the internet without viewing the ads on the browser. There are many benefits of this browser over any other browser the first one is the obvious one it does not display any ad but as it does not display any ad it will consume less data and the websites will load a lot faster and many malware will not be allowed to enter your device as ads are disabled by default this browser allows some ads to be displayed so you can disable that by going to settings, ad blocking, acceptable ads and you can uncheck the allow some non-intrusive advertising option. From the tab switcher view you can see all the tabs that are opened and it's easier for you to choose your desired tab. Uh, and this browser also has got the private mode and there are some other features like finding a word in the page, requesting desktop websites and all the basic features are present here so you can use it as your default browser. The next app on the list is Sleep Timer. So it's one of the most useful apps that I have found in a while. So this app will cause the music to stop after a specific amount of time. Although some music players have this feature built in on them but you might want to use the default music app or some other music app like Spotify. So no matter where the media is playing from, it will stop it after the specified time. So from the main screen of this app here, you can choose the time and then start it. And then it will do its job. The next app on the list is Hooks. So this app will let you send notifications about anything that you are interested. For example, you can ask it to notify you if a movie with rating over 7 has been released or a new song has been released of the artist of your choice. Or you can even choose to get notifications about sports related content or TV shows, rain alerts, shipment tracking and a lot more. From the main screen here you can choose the notifications that you want to receive. If you are interested in finance, you can ask it to notify about currency exchange. There are a lot of options here and from the side here you can view the popular ones so you can choose between what's being used the most. You can even change the parameters like the minimum rating a movie should receive in order to trigger the alert. So that's all about this app. It's a very good app. Just give it a try. The next app on the list is Heads Off. So the purpose of this app is to disable heads off notification on any lollipop device. So heads off is a feature in lollipop and some users like it while many don't. So heads off notification displays a card on the screen which will notify the user but many users don't like it because it interrupts what the user is actually doing. So from the application here you can just go and disable this so it won't appear on your lollipop device and you can even go to settings here and choose for which apps you want to enable it and for which apps you want to disable it. So that's all about this application. If you just don't like the heads off notification, you can go ahead, install this app and disable it. The next app on the list is NavMe. So it's an offline navigation and traffic app for drivers. So once you download this app, it will ask you to download a map and once you download it, it will be stored in your device so you can access it even without the internet. So from the app you can search for places and get directions so if any place is in the map that you have downloaded, it will be displayed here. It also supports turn by turn voice navigation and at the side here you have got a music player. So you do not need to close this app to access your music controls while you are driving. And in this app you can even see the traffic conditions and change the view modes of the app. The UI of this app is very easy to use. It will not confuse you while you are driving as every control is one swipe away. 
and it will work anywhere you go because it's using the GPS and the map that is stored in your device. The next app on the list is Hyperlapse. So this app is created by Microsoft so that we can create smooth and stabilized time-lapse video. So you can record a video from the phone and this app will create a faster time-lapse video with very little shake. You can choose the speed of the video, it can be from 1 to 32 times faster. You can even import a previously recorded video and have this app create a time lapse of that video. Here is a video that I had recorded with this app. So it's very fun using this app and you can easily share the time lapse that you have created from here. The next app on the list is Lightroom. So it's a photo editor app made by Adobe. The interface looks good. It has taken some elements from its desktop app. So here you can add photos and below there are three main options. From the basic tools here you can set the white balance. You can choose it to be auto or you can choose it manually. Or you can even specify the portion in the photo which should be white so that this app can set the white balance for you. Then you can choose individual elements like temperature, tint exposure, changing contrast, highlights and after an effect is applied you can triple tap on the photo to see the unedited version of the photo and you can double tap on the photo to see the metadata of the photo. Then you have got some effects like there are various categories of effects that you can apply. Uh, there are categories like creative, colors and a lot more. And at last you have got some adjustment tools to crop, resize and rotate the photo. And all of the work that you do in this app is saved in Adobe Cloud so that it can be accessed from anywhere. So that's all about this app. The next app on the list is Styles. So it's a lock screen app and it will change a lock screen to a collage of pictures from Instagram. It looks good. You can choose where the pictures come from, you can choose the account, you can enable some accounts and you can disable some accounts from the settings of this app. And in the lock screen, you can interact with it. So you can double tap and start scrolling below to view all the pictures and if you scroll back up, the unlock button will appear and then you can unlock your screen. And tapping a picture will display more information about it and then you can swipe to the right, you will go back to the colleague of pictures. From the settings here you can change few things like you can choose the date format. So if you use Instagram a lot this might be the app for you because it will be easier for you to check your feeds than the Instagram app. The next app on the list is Kaboom. So this app allows to create self-destructing messages or photos and share it on social medias or send it as a message. So once you open this app, from here you can choose the message or the photo that you want to send and from here you can choose the amount of time that you want this post to stay. And then a link will be copied in your clipboard and then you can go and paste it on the social media of your choice. And the viewers will only be able to see the content till the time that you have set. You can even choose to destroy the content after certain number of views. So that's all about this app. You can easily share your link in Facebook, Twitter or send it as an email or message. The next app on the list is Intel Remote Keyboard. So this app allows you to control your PC wirelessly. So if your computer uses Intel processor, you can download this app. Then you need to enter the connection code and it's done. It's only a one time process. Your phone is connected with your computer and you can start controlling your touchpad and keyboard right from your phone. Other apps out there also does the same thing but this app is made from Intel for Intel devices so it's a lot smoother and more efficient. Double touch registers as a right click in the touchpad. The touchpad is very responsive and it seems like there is very little or no lag. Although you might use your keyboard and your mouse on your computer but this app can be useful sometimes. So that's all about this video guys, hope you guys have found some application for yourselves and if you know of any other apps that is worthy to be in such videos to let me know in the comment section below. 
and do follow me on social media as the links are below in the description box and subscribe for more videos have a great day